welcome back to another video on my channel so today I've got a Neo Nails coloured acrylic review for you so the colours I've got to review are Metallic Blue, Carnival in Rio, Crazy Coral then you've got Infinity Lagoon, Metallic Red and Sapphire Satin you can purchase these all from neonails.co.uk if you watch a lot of YouTube nail videos you would have heard of Kirsty Meakin she does the videos for Nail Nails and she's an incredible nail technician I highly recommend going checking her videos out she's phenomenal and I'll just give you a closer look of those colours so let's get into the swatches I'm just going to be using this um, brush that I got from eBay it's quite a cheap acrylic brush just for swatches and these clear swatch sticks so I'm going in with crazy coral first now I haven't tried any of nail nails um, acrylics before but I saw Sarah's nail secrets review and she was quite shocked at how good they were so I picked up these six colors to try for you as I said I've never tried them before so this is a first impressions and I've got to say I'm so impressed they are crazy pigmented but that comes with some pros and cons so I'm just showing you how I picked up that bead I'm getting used to the consistency that you need to work with them I would say it's kind of in between your monomer to powder ratio it's kind of between CJP and glam and glitz it's kind of a bit of a middle you need to work wet but you also need to work dry it depends on the color as you can see this one here is so pigmented it is neon coral as you can tell the thing I'm finding with these acrylics is they stick to your brush because they're so pigmented. They really, really stick to your brush. As you can see there, I'm having to wipe off my brush a good few times to get that pigment out of my brush. So be careful when you're applying these because you may get your brush a little bit gunked up. But here is the colour dry and matte. It is absolutely stunning. I mean so pigmented perfect for spring and summer I'm so glad I got this color so next color is infinity lagoon I think this one may have to be my absolute favorite that's what it looks like in the pot it kind of looks like a baby blue sparkle so just picking this bead up and you can see it goes a lot darker than it looks in the pot and again, the reason why I swipe down um, when I swatch is to see how opaque they are. And this one here, you can see, is a little bit more sheer to the first colour that I did. But that could create a really cool faded nail effect. But although it is slightly more on the sheer side, it is still really opaque. So now I'm going in with my second bead to build up that opacity. And you can see here that it goes fully opaque with the second bead amazing amazing color I think this one's my favorite I love the sparkles in this and this one didn't gun cut my brush that much this was quite good um it all came off my brush onto the swatch stick so thumbs up from me for this one so next one is metallic blue this is a beautiful it's got kind of a pearlized shimmer throughout So picking up that bead, looks very similar to what it does in the pot, and applying that in there you can see I had a little bit of trouble with it staying on the swatch stick and you can kind of see how gunky my brush is. So I'm glad I didn't use one of my nice brushes. And as you can see there it's literally like painting pigment onto the swatch stick, it's fully opaque, it is an amazing colour, this baby blue is phenomenal all their metallic range so like metallic red which I've got later coming up metallic blue I've got thing and like they've I've got other colors in the range are so pigmented I mean this one swipe and you're done but again you have to be careful with it clogging up your brush but that is just a beautiful color I'm so happy these are beautiful so the next color is metallic red same kind of thing as to metallic blue it's got that shimmer running through it now i watched a review on this and somebody said it doesn't come out red it comes out kind of a soft rose and it really does in person it's more rosy as well rather than red 
and I almost prefer it. It again so pigmented to work with as you can see there swiping down it's just full coverage really 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 good again just be careful with it getting stuck in your brushes things like that make sure you're properly cleaning your brush when you're changing colors I'm absolutely in love I'm a glam and glitz and um, CJP colored acrylic girl so I was a little bit hesitant on trying these out but I'm so glad I did they are really cool to work with so next we have got sapphire satin this is a dark navy blue almost a really stunning color this kind of might be a favorite as well I think they're all my favorite it's a really deep rich color And again, super pigmented, swiping it down. It's kind of the same um, pigmentation as Glam and Glitz. I find it's really highly pigmented. So work in the same way you would with Glam and Glitz, I think. And that's Sapphire. It's a dark blue satiny colour, as the name suggests. And that's what it looks like compared to in the pot. Next up we have Carnival in Rio, now this is a mix, so it's a glitters and sparkly bits mixed with clear acrylic. So you definitely have to work more wet with this. And it's got some gold mylar flakes in it and then it's kind of got a bluey purpley pink mini glitter base to it really fun fun color and as you can see there it's a really jam-packed colored no glitter acrylic mitts there's no gaps it's really full and sparkly and beautiful i love it And that's what it looks like compared to in the pot so the pot looks lo looks a lot lighter and once you've swatched it it gets more deep so there are all the swatches i really hope you enjoyed this video if you're going to try some nail nail products out definitely give these colored acrylics a go they are phenomenal i've only tried these six colors so i can't say much else for the rest of the range but these six colors are great i highly recommend i think i'll be purchasing more in the future thank you so much for watching my video give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in my next video thanks bye